House Majority Whip Steve Scalise is back at work on Capitol Hill. Scalise received a rousing ovation on the House floor yesterday on his return to Congress, more than three months after he was shot at baseball practice. We sat down with Scalise just minutes before, and our cap cameras captured an emotional reunion that literally brought the Speaker of the House to his knees. Oh, look who's here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Speaker, back. <laughs> just so good to see you. Man, oh man, it's been a long time. Oh Jesus! Oh, <laughs> wow. This is great. I'm sorry. I'm, look, he's got I'm a John Bader. I'm just, he's got a full play. Yeah. Thank you, hey, Jennifer. Oh, we've cried a lot of tears in the hospital in those first yes, few so. days. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Nora, how are you hey, doing? Hey, how are you? Nice to see you, Mr. Oh, man. Oh my God. Thanks for uh, helping us. Kind of, I know you worked with my staff a yeah, lot yeah. to make this day work. And, uh, it's gonna be a special it's just, day. This is just incredible. This is, you look so good. Look at this. I mean, it's, you look so good, man. <laughs> oh, thanks. Do you remember the first time you came to see? I do. And he opened his eyes. I do. I remember that. I, I remembered. I remember. Nice, that was yeah. one of the. Do you actually remember that? People. Oh, absolutely. There weren't many I remembered. You, Pence, yeah. when Pence came, we actually. I could. Yeah, remember we were holding his hands, and then you actually open your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Because Jennifer talk. said, Jennifer, yeah. like, keep talking. All, he can hear you. I gave and him uh, a hard time because I said, he, I said, Steve, you didn't even open your eyes for me. <laughs> <laughs> and when you yeah, because we would not know if you'd even hear. I know it's I said, amazing. When you heard yeah. Paul's voice, you yeah. opened oh your eyes. Gosh. I've been looking forward to this moment oh. for more than you can uh, imagine. Oh, yeah. you got crutches. Yeah. I've got crutches. Yeah. So what's it like to have him back? We thought you'd carry him. It's yeah, you got it. Yeah. I've seen his work at Regina. Can. Yeah. It, 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 I don't. I don't have words for it. I can't describe it. Yeah. I've never felt this kind of an emotion before. Your presence is going to bring so much healing to people here. Everywhere I go in America, first question: How's Steve Scalise? How's the Scalise family? Please tell them we're praying for them. Please tell Jennifer and, and Madison Harrison we're praying for them. Wow. Please. Everywhere we all go, everyone has been sending their prayers, and it's working. It, it's we're just, they're being answered. It, we're, I feel it. I mean, we. Have felt these prayers, <sighs> unbelievable, all around the country. People that we don't even know, and uh, wow, the power of prayer is, is real. Oh, it really. You got your majority whip back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, it was Boy, um, Nora, one of those moments. Wow. You know, um, the humanity involved there and the friendship that involved there. I mean, it's it's odd to see a grown man cry. I've never seen the Speaker of the House, you know, cry. Although John Boehner, as he pointed out, uh, used to to cry frequently, but. I like to see that kind of humanity in yeah. that moment. Did you all, did you know he was coming or do you, you were, I know you had an interview scheduled with Mr. Scalise. Right, so we were waiting to go on the floor. They said the Speaker of the House was gonna try and stop by and see him before he went down to uh -huh. open up. So we had an inkling that, that, that he might that come by. He might come, but we were interviewing. We also talked to Scalise after he was on the House floor, again, for another interview. And the House Majority Whip said, had his Capitol Police not been there that day on that baseball field, he thinks a dozen members of Congress could be dead. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of the emotion, too, because every member of Congress uh, realized this could have been really bad, and it was an attack yeah. on the institution. And I suspect, when you know, how close he may have come to death. Yes. yes, and that's part of our story on 60 Minutes on Sunday. This extended for the first time. We've done all the original reporting about what happened that day on June 14th, his recovery, and how close he came to death. But that's what made it so touching to me, and everybody who watched that piece, to see the speaker walk in. It was so spontaneous. The way he dropped to his knees immediately and the way that he grabbed Congressman Scalise, I'll never forget seeing that. And, and the wife's reaction, then he said, oh, yeah, hi, Nora. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you're here, too. Well, that, yeah, that was when I thought I sort of felt a little uncomfortable no, being there no, in that moment. No, it was moment. beautiful to see. Yeah, thank beautiful you, guys. To see. And just a reminder, you can watch the interview with House Majority Whip Steve Scalise that Sunday night on 60 Minutes. That's right here on CBS. Well, the health and... Well done. Yeah, very well done. Thank very you. well done, indeed.